so hello everyone welcome to this video and in this video i will be explaining the problem count artifacts that can be extracted so first uh, we will be discussing briefly the problem then i will be explaining you the method or the how to implement it via whiteboard and then uh, we will be coding it and by the way if you like my videos please do like the video and subscribe the channel if this problem is uh, you, you understand this problem from me so the problem is basically saying that you have been given these artifacts arrays and uh, you have to uh, in this uh, dig array and you have to tell that how many artifacts can be extracted i assume that you have already read the question properly so i won't be spending much time here uh, so the idea is that uh, it is given that the artifacts are of rectangular shape okay so if we think <laughs> what can be the possible rectangular shapes so one case ca can be that the artifact is of this shape it is only one unit okay so this is one possibility another possibility is that the artifacts is like this of size 2 or it is of size 3 or it is of size 4 basically it is vertical and another possibility is it is can the artifact can be horizontal and it is also given that the artifact is of size 4 okay so the artifact can be like this like this or like this okay or the fourth possibility is that the artifact can be like this uh, it is not possible that the artifact is like this something like this it is not possible only uh, it is rectangular okay and okay uh, i just accidentally uh, anyway so these are the four possibilities so that's what we have to consider so the idea is that uh, we can determine which shape the artifact is going to be by looking at these numbers it is very easy so for example here 0 comma 0 is equal uh, like 0 0 0 these these are equal uh, 0 1 and 1 1 here uh, the second index is same so it means that the artifact is of verti uh, vertical shape so so what I will do is that I will make another uh, grid array and since I know what possible shape it is I will uh, write uh, a index uh, I will mark that artifact in a grid this is going to be a n cross n grid okay so for example if the artic artifact has uh, like this coordinates 0 0 0 0 so what i will do is that in that grid i will mark every position as minus 1 and then uh, for example this is the artifact so uh, by looking at these numbers i can say that this artifact is of uh, this uh, single unit so what i will do i will write one here so for example there is another artifact let's say it's uh, uh, top left uh, one is w 1 2 and bottom right is 1 5 so here I can see that the first index of the top left corner and the top right corner are same so it means that the artifact is of vertical nature okay uh, sorry horizontal you can uh, realize that if you just think on it on your own so I can safely say that that artifact will be in the grid artifact will look like this and since uh, this is the second artifact so i will write two everywhere two 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 and similarly if the artifact is of vertical nature i will write three 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 here and if i uh, know that the artifact is of square nature i will write four 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 now what i will do is that i will iterate this grid and i will make a map so i will make a map that how many uh, like uh, this uh, one artifact is what is the size of one artifact so for example this artifact with id uh, i'm associating these are basically id of that artifact so one has size one the artifact of id two has size four the artifact of id three is uh, size is four uh, so this is i have marked in a map and then uh, once I have marked them in map I will iterate the dig array over this uh, grid okay and once I encounter any one I will reduce the size of this uh, uh, this map and uh, this maps uh, this key one key so for example if uh, dig is 
uh, that dig array contains this this uh, let me change the color we dig this this and this uh, then uh, we uh, the size of this two uh, the size of this two key will become one uh, by subtracting the three indexes it is still not zero so it means that this artifact has not been fully extracted so for example uh, and for example if the dig array consists these points these all four then the ultimately when i completely iterate the grid the size of this three will be zero so uh, if this is zero then i can safely say that this artifact has been extracted so this is how it works i hope it is clear to you uh, but it will become more clear as i code so let's code it uh, by the way if you have understood please do like the video and subscribe the channel okay so first thing first i will make a vector a uh, vector int grid and i will initialize everything in this vector as uh, vector as uh minus one so i have initialized everything in this vector as minus one okay this is basically it is a vector of vector who has n rows and n columns with all values as minus one now what i will do is that i will uh make one variable int id is equal to one okay so now for int i is equal to zero i less than artifacts artifacts dot uh, what size artifacts dot size i plus plus so now i will iterate the artifact and uh, the top left and top right values i will store them in the pair so pair uh, int int top left is equal to is equal to what? artifacts artifacts i comma zero and artifacts i one so this is the what great uh sorry this is the top left uh, corners coordinates and now i will write bottom right pairs coordinates mm, so i am copying this pasting this and this will be what bottom right r i g h t right this coordinate will be three and this one will be four okay so now i have the coordinates now i have to see that uh, depending on this rt top left and top uh, bottom right uh, coordinates i have to determine which kind of artifact it is which shape it is a single block it is a vertical horizontal or a uh, like a uh, four four block uh, artifact so i will first write a condition that if top left dot first so in a pair the first one top dot first and uh, means that the first uh, index the first uh, like uh, the first pair okay so if top left dot first is equal to bottom right dot first and end top left dot second is equal to bottom right dot second uh, so basically this is this case 0 0 here 0 0 and 0 0 so if this is the case then uh, it means that the uh, the artifact is of a single unit block so i will mark this position top left dot first and top left dot second is equal to id okay so this is the first condition and so there will be four condition totals and after each uh, after the any condition is executed i will increase the id's count so id will be plus plus i mean for the first artifact is done now we will we are moving towards the second artifact now the second condition can be else if it is uh, the uh, artifact is in vertical nature so in vertical nature you see that top left dot second and bottom right dot second the one one are same so it mean it will determine that it is vertical in nature so i will just write this uh, so here top left dot second and bottom right dot second 
so i'm just copying this condition if this is the case then i will write a for loop so for int j is equal to here the thing that is varying is the first one so j is equal to top uh, what top left dot first uh no no mm. one second so here this one is varying so j is equal to top left dot first j less than equal to uh, bottom right dot first j plus plus so uh, if this is the case then i will mark my grid with like this so i will just copy this paste this and here what is constant uh, this thing is constant top left dot second is constant so i will top left dot second is constant and this is varying so i will mark this as j so what will this do this will mark this uh, grid let's say this is the case it will mark two over here like this okay so uh, like this i have uh, this is for vertical case sorry yes vertical vertical now the third case can be the artifact is of horizontal nature okay so i will just copy this if it is horizontal in nature then this thing will be suppose this and this were coordinates uh, 0 0 and 0 1 these were the uh, this this thing the are coordinates of the first artifact then here you see that the first uh, top left dot first and bottom right dot first are matching so that's uh, this will determine that the shape of the artifact is horizontal in nature so now uh, i will write another for loop for int j is equal to top right uh, yes sorry top left dot second and j is less than equal to bottom right dot second j plus plus and i will mark this copy paste uh, here top left dot first is constant and this is variable so i'll mark this as j so this will uh, like horizontally mark the grid and the third case can be mm, left dot first the third case can be uh, this one it is a squ square shape okay so to now i will mark the uh, square shape so this thing uh, id and top left dot first bottom uh, left dot second plus one so basically this will mark this and this and my second will be bottom right where is bottom right copy paste 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 and this will be minus one uh you can uh it is very simple i i don't want to waste time by explaining this i'm basically marking the four grids uh four grids and that's all we have to do so now i have marked this uh grid now what i have to do is that i have to uh, in, write this in a map okay so map int int mp so now i will traverse this grid okay so for grid uh sorry int i is equal to zero i less than grid grid dot size i plus plus uh for int j is equal to zero j less than what grid zero dot size okay so now if uh, so the grid is was initially initialized as minus one everywhere so if grid ij is not equal to minus one is not equal to minus one then i will increase the uh, value of that id 
so the artifact with id the this particular id will increase its count in the map so i'm increasing the count now i have to now i will uh, uh, traverse this dig vector array and see that how many artifacts have been actually talked so i will in uh, write another variable int count is equal to count is equal to zero now i will traverse this dig array uh, so for int i is equal to zero i less than dig dot dot size j plus plus sorry i plus plus and i will here uh, write the r is equal to the row is basically dig i zero and int the column is equal to dig i comma one so this is the coordinate which i am going to dig so i will just dig it dig grid r c minus minus and if this uh, the value of this id becomes zero grid what r c is equal to zero it means that the artifact has been successfully extracted or excavated in this case excavated and i will increase my count so and in the end i will return the count return count so that should work uh, let's compile this code mm -mm, okay this should be t i hope there is another one bottom right so there is some typo bottom rigt line 11 right bottom right uh, another bottom rigt right are there any one more problems no i think this should compile gird grid 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 okay there is some issue mm -hmm. i plus plus dig dot size mm, let me see so hello uh, so after a little bit time i noticed that i had written this index wrong so basically 0 1 this should be 2 uh, not 3 so that was that's why we were getting the error uh, so it is successfully getting accepted now let's submit it so it got submitted so it is a somewhat a lengthy problem we are over 18 minutes right now so this is the problem you just basically have to create a grid and mark it with the ids of that artifact and you can easily determine the shape of the artifact by looking at this uh, looking at the artifact coordinates uh, top left and uh, bottom right coordinates so that's the problem and if you like the problem i mean if you like this video please do subscribe so that's all thank you and have a nice day